Hey everyone, Alan Peterson here with IamNirvana.com. I'm getting ready to, to tweak a mini site for a uh, resale, for a product that I have uh, resale rights to. I'm going to be uploading that to my server so I can start promoting it. And it came with a uh, already put together mini site, so I thought it'd be interesting uh, for me to record this so you can see how you tweak uh, mini sites and things of that nature very easily. So what you're looking at right now is Composer. And basically, if you're familiar with NVU, that's what Composer is. Uh, NVU, they stopped development of uh, NVU and have now, um, but some of the people that were the NVU developers have now continued developing it as Composer. So it's a great free HTML editor, which is fantastic. And it works with a Mac. I'm on a Mac right now. That's a nice thing about Composer. It works with a PC and a Mac. I do have an older copy of Dreamweaver on my PC, but it's overkill. You really do not need that. Um, Dreamweaver is, is the Rolls Royce of, of HTML, of internet, of uh, web design. There's no no question about that. But you really don't need it for what we need it. We are marketers. We're not web designers. All we need to do is tweak some a little bit of HTML code, uh, add, write our sales letter, uh, add a couple images, and you don't need Dreamweaver for that. It's overkill. So uh, why spend $400 when you can use a free uh, HTML editor? This is what I use, and I have an old copy of uh, Dreamweaver. And so basically what you need to do then is, um, it's very straightforward. Just go ahead and open it, and then go to the HTML file that you want to edit. So for this example right here, I'm going to edit this uh, the index file. So we'll go ahead and load it in Composer, and there you see it. And now you got you have four different tabs on Composer. You have Normal which is the WYSIWYG editor. Uh, WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get, which is basically, you know, this is, you can edit right here and you can see it, how it's gonna look like, as you can see right there. Let's get rid of that. The uh, second tab is HTML tags, and there you can actually see all the different tags um, for the, in the HTML code, the font, the headers, the images, things like that, of that nature. The third tab is the source tab. And that is the actual raw HTML code. Uh, I do believe it's very important that you at least become a little bit comfortable with HTML. If you're not familiar with HTML and you're looking at this right now, you're probably freaking out. But trust me, it's not that hard. It's not like we're writing this from scratch. We're just, you know, maybe adding a code, a snippet of code here and there, uh, making little changes here and there. Uh, but it is important that you get a little bit familiarized with HTML code, in my opinion. And then the final tab is the preview tab. And that's where we see how it's going to look like when it's online. So basically what I use, I use normal and I use the uh, source tabs. That's basically what I use um, all the time. So let me just show you. So I got the, this file here. It's all ready to rock and roll for me. So all I need to do is just make some changes here. So like for example, where it says, you know, from your name here. I'm just going to go ahead and add my name. Uh, there we go. So I'll put there my name makes this bold and that's the nice thing of these of these HTML editors is that they're if you're familiar with word you're gonna be it's gonna be very intuitive to, to you so for example just go up here to the uh, task taskbar and click on bold and boom it bolds it and you can increase the font size you can select the headers you can change the uh, font colors uh, you can add images that you want you can edit the uh, images that are already uh, on there for example as well you can see it's pretty straightforward. You can um, you can add hyperlinks as necessary. And it's got to uh, add tables, forms, everything you need um, is right here uh, in uh, Compo on Composer. It even has, if for more advanced users, you can even edit your CSS, uh, it has a CSS editor. So it's pretty uh, straightforward and uh, easy to use. Uh, so, for example, um, all, I, all I would do here then, I would make my changes, like, you know, adding my name or whatever. Maybe I'll add a little text or remove something or whatever, you know. Make sure that all my links are on there and everything's working. And then all I got to do is just upload this uh, file, these files to my server, and voila, my site is uh, up and running. So, as you can see, if you already have the mini site done, literally, you can have your site up and running in 5, 10 minutes. It's that simple especially once you get experience with it. And this is what I do even with my, my own products. This is a, like I said, this is a, a resale rights that I bought, so this was already done uh, by someone else. I bought the rights to it. I'm just gonna add my name and a couple of things on there, and then I'm just gonna upload it. But even for my own products, um, I outsource my mini sites to a graphic designer, and then they, 
they generate the HTML template for me and all I do is uh, upload it here on Composer and I write my sales letter. So it's very straightforward, it's very simple to, to do and uh, very important that you, it's a very important skill to have um, in this business in my opinion. So I just wanted to show this to you very quickly and uh, hope you find this uh, helpful. And you can check out my site at imnirvana.com. Thanks everyone, bye.